Stereo Energy says it will offer the world's first commercial fusion power and harness the power of the sun, the six fusion plant pro prototype from Helium Energy. The world is in dear need of clean energy and the company developing a nascent technology called nuclear fusion has broken ground on a facility threatened to become a circular center of testing and research into the Nobel power source with hope of taking the first world historical steps toward a commercially variable fusion power plant according to a recent press release from the company. While there is no saying for certain if or when Helium or another private or public research facility will master and scale up. Commercially carry variable fusion power the very possibility of this revolutionary power source could transform the very nature of energy in the modern world. Fusion power harnesses the power of the sun itself. However, the complexity of and unspeakable possibilities for nuclear fusion have created numerous issues that researchers and confront from several different perspectives, each of which is soundly committed to harnessing the modeling process taking place inside our sun. We can stress enough how hot is it is in there where pressure is so high that separate atoms call it and fuse into large ones releasing incredible amounts of low energy. On the flip side, it also has zero carbon emissions, the most popular candidate reactors to Produce is processed on as a donut shaped reactors called Tokamax. But it's not the only one. There is also a twist and turn action accelerator design. The company that broke ground on a new facility, Helium Energy, is researching fusion power technology via its own patented plasma accelerator which employs helium-3 and deuterium crus as the initial condition for the process contained within helium energy's device. The flues are heated to very high temperatures to create plasma, which is later magnetically confined into what the firm calls a field reserved configuration. Two of them come into being at either side of the accelerator and then comes the final dramatic step. The researchers use magnets to smash the FRCs into one another at a in the cross speed of 1 million mph, giving birth to an extremely energetic collision at the center, and it's not over. Achieving self sustaining nuclear fusion energy crucial. At the center, the FRC.